Okay, well, we're back. Put a 3 8 end mill in, a, in the collet, uh, clamped the cylinder in the vise, and um, I'm going to come down and I'll mill this uh, part of the gate from the casting nice and f flat. I'll get rid of that. I'll give you a nice surface to uh, drill the uh, two holes that I need to drill in there. Let's get going. So over here on the surface plate. Now, um, directions uh, that the uh, that the uh, plans say to come up uh, nine sixteenths, uh, and that should be the center of this uh, boss here to drill for the um, power inlet side. Um, so I got my height gauge set for uh, nine sixteenths. Describe a little mark on that. Kind of hard to see. And just want to see what this looks like if I flip it over on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, okay, so it's right there. And then off of that, from that 9 16 uh, center line, uh, each of those ports um, from there is um, 187,000. So 187 up from here, and I'll flip it over and go 187 up again, and I'll scribe that on this side here. I'll bring you back when I got my height gauge set. Okay, so back again. So, this mark, even though it may be hard for you to see, it's 9 sixteenths, and then um, up from that, um, another 187 thousandths. So that brings this height to 750 thousandths, so three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to scribe there. Yeah. And flip it over and scribe here. Okay, so on this center of this boss, on those marks, I got to drill. Um, I got to drill two holes. They are um, three thirty seconds. Uh, 11 sixteenths deep and then I have to drill again I can make a counter or um, put a number 38 drill bit an eighth of an inch deep and then that counter ball will get tapped with a 540 tap uh, and um, I'll have to use a bottoming tap and um, a set screw in there acting as a uh, plug. So um, I'll get it set up on the mill and bring you back when I'm ready to drill. Welcome back. All right. Um, got to gotta put a little counter bore in, in the edge of the cylinder. Um, when we left off, we had the two ports drilled through the valve opening, 
uh, tap for 540 to put a couple of plugs. Now I have to put a counter bore in each side and drill down with a 332nd drill bit and meet that other passage. So uh, <clears throat> it's going to require a little uh, little precision here, and um, I got the uh, I got the table in the Y direction uh, centered. I got a 532nd um, got a 532nd end mill, um, which I got to go down uh, three thirty seconds down, uh, and then I'll. Take the end mill out, put a 332nd drill bit in, and drill down approximately um, 7 16 and intersect the other 332nd hole that we drilled earlier. So, um, alright, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm just going to touch that off with a center drill. Okay, back now. We've got the 332nd drill bit in. Um, if all goes well, drill down um, about 7 16 of an inch, and I should feel it break into the other port. So, uh, oh, here we go. The moment of truth, guys. Yep, I felt the break through. Oh, what a great feeling. Alright. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So, I'll spare everybody the uh, anticipation and saga here. Okay, um... I already drilled this before, but uh, I just realized I never recorded how I set this this area piece up in the mill uh, to give me the 20 degree um, angle that I needed here. So um, I've been giving this a little bit of thought. I was going to use the angle vise, and uh, I was thinking of some other ways, but I have a 20 degree. Um, angle here. Um, I just laid that down in the vise and um, so now I already did this side. This side was laying down here. I clamped this in and now I got to do the other side the same way. So I'm just going to flip this piece over. I got it sitting down on that 20 degree angle standard. Just gonna carefully snug this down. Now, in addition to having this angle correct, um, I want to have this sh uh, in the uh, y-axis uh, uh, centered. Because if this is if this is turned as I drill, it's going to miss the hole coming through. So um, once again it's a casting, it's hard to pick up the actual center everything. So what I just did is I put my, uh, I had my uh, uh, tap follower handy in there. I'm going to bring this down. And I just kind of use that as a centering gauge. And what I 
did was I just picked up, just kind of picked up the center of that hole, and as you can see, this is got to rotate towards the back a little bit. So. That looks like it's centered right there. I don't know if the angle you guys have seen um, really shows that, but looking this way, this this point is centered in the hole. Now let me bring this up, and this should be centered here. I didn't move the table um, since the last time, so um, all right, so. That's how I set it up before, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing like I did before. I'm going to um, put a little uh, counterbore here with my uh, 532nd end mill, uh, and then come back, I'll do a center drill, just to give me a, a positive um, spot for the 332nd drill bit to bite into, and drill down and pick up the other port that's drilled across. So um, I'm going to do that off camera. I'll bring you back when I have it all done. All right, well, thought I'd bring you back in here. This way we could either share the victory or sh share the sorrow. Um, so uh, it's, um, I have a counter board. I have it uh, spot drilled. Uh, I got my 332nd drill bit back in there. And um, all right, as everybody knows from before, I'm going to drill down and intercept, intersect that other 332nd uh, port which we drilled earlier. So uh, here it goes. Feels good. All right. All right. Let me get it cleaned up. I'll take it out of the vise and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay. So as you can see, um, I drilled the hole uh, through here, and let me see if I could see. So that's connected. That goes through. And this hole goes through at an angle. And then the same for this side here. We still in focus here? Okay. And see. So that goes through this way. And this goes through at an angle. So it meets like this. Okay. Still more to do on this uh, cylinder. Still got to drill a hole. Uh, and it calls for uh, a weird tap. It's a, a 316th model engineering thread or something like that. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Those taps are very expensive. Um, like 30 bucks for one tap. So, yeah, I got to tap two holes. I don't know. Uh, I can figure something else out. But I am going to drill the hole. Um, got to give the tap some thought. Got to see if it's really worth it. So, may I figure something else out. All right. Bring you back in a little bit when I'm ready to drill out this. Okay, got it chucked up, uh, got it clamped up in the vise here that's centered across here. And um, I just eyeballed this across this way. So uh, I'm going to put a little uh, center drill, uh, start it, and then come back for a 530 seconds. 